It was in July, I was in Holland. I was in a Grand Prix qualifier. And there was a double combination. It was a triple bar to a vertical. Uh, it was meant to be two strides, but the time of day that it happened, it was late in the afternoon. There were shadows on the ground. The distance between the two obstacles was very, very short, almost too short. Plus with shadows, horses were confused. I think two or three horses before I went, went in one stride instead of two. My horse, she's wonderful and she's brave and she jumped in and obviously in her eyes, she saw one and I thought, oh, I can't believe this is happening. And then I was up on her neck and I went to grab around her and I realized just my legs weren't gonna make it where I needed them to be to get me to stay on. So I just remember thinking, oh, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> so I uh, fell. Afterwards, I found out that I actually fell and she stepped on my head on the side. She was wearing studs for slipping and one of the studs actually went straight through the helmet and basically missed going into my head. When we get an accident helmet into the lab, we have to start the process of unraveling what happened. The helmet has to tell the story. We look for the telltale markers of impacts, grazes, stud marks, crush injury. Um, Laura's helmet had a clear hole in it from a store to that the horse was wearing. And also we could tell the helmet was compressed as well where the, the horse had trodden on it. So when we first got the lab images back, we were just shocked. Firstly, that Laura was already back riding, even before the lab report had come back to us. But also that it was such a clear demonstration of what a Paso 15 helmet can do and the realisation of what would have happened to Laura had her helmet not had that standard. Paso 15 has much stricter tests. The tests are things like hazard edge impacts, um, flat impact. crush tests. It has a higher energy spike test, which is exactly what happened to Laura's helmet. And that's why she walked away, because her helmet was designed to take that kind of impact. So when we got the pictures of Laura's helmet, we thought maybe we'd share it on social media because we thought the story was really interesting, as it really showed the difference of a Paso 15 helmet. But what we did not expect was the reaction of riders. It reached 1.6 million within the first week and it was shared by nearly 10,000 riders. And we were just blown away. And for us it really showed us that when riders understood the difference of a Paso 15 helmet and what that can mean for a rider in an accident, that's when you need to know and people need to know about this. So some riders actually might see on their helmets as well that they have a little heart symbol. So that's actually the, the BSI kite mark, the British Standard Institute. So that means that BSI come into manufacturers like ours and they take helmets randomly and they retest them to make sure that every helmet is as good as the first one that was tested to that standard. I hope that people will really think about not just the, the look of the helmet, but really pay attention to the safety standard and make sure that whatever helmet they're wearing has been tested to the utmost and, and that they are as protected as they can be. Just wear the right helmet.